Never see the bet if you live to be hundred. Well, you won't live another week if Sir Mark's men catch you poaching his trout. <laughs> see? Sir Mark's trout? Be Lord, I do assure you. Hear that, sir? Bravely our banners wave, gravely we sing. Truth shall not be a slave, while Richard is our king. Tire and cower, in your tower, for right is might and truth is power, each arm is... It's King Richard's Song of Battle. A, a crusader? <laughs> Looks like a magpie. More tattered rich I've never seen. Oh, it takes a brave man to sing that song these days. A brave one or a fool. Lustily we sing, truth on earth will never yield, while Richard is our king. my cap, I doff it to Sir Ivanhoe of Rotherwood. Oh, you know Sir Ivanhoe? Dick a Devon, master minstrel of the wandering troubadour's company, attached to the armies of Richard the Lionheart, renowned for his melodies and rhymes, creator of Richard's song of battle, your servant, sir. Oh, Dick a Devon. Yes, I know you. Princess! Come on. Come on. There she is, the princess, sole survivor of my crusading circus. What brought you back here? Friends of Richard's are not welcome at home these days. Oh, I know. But with Richard in prison, where else would we all go? All? My circus. There were five of us. Jugglers, singers, acrobats. When we came back, we found Prince John reaching for the crown and King Richard half forgotten. So we decided to spread some cheer, remind folk who their king was. And where are the others now? Oh, they've cut us down one by one, Prince John's men. They've hunted us through the length of England. Now there's only me and... An old princess here. It's unhealthier than the crusade. Well, what are you going to do now? Do? Give them a one-man circus. Start hawking the song of battle. <laughs> no other song ever gave me this attention. <coughs> ah, I'll give them a chase before they catch me. Mm. 
It's a good man to have with us. With John spreading the word that Richard's dead. Dick, let's do some more singing about Richard. Show people how to stand up against John and his jackals. My lute, it's broken. Oh, we'll soon fix that. Come on, this crusade's just beginning. Come on, boy. How's that? Oh, fine. Hear how stout heart the lion and true heart the ox can beat horse heart the jackal and black heart the fox. <laughs> Aye, but what will the fox do to the warbling magpie if he catches him? Oh, we'll have to see that he doesn't. We'll ride with him, girl. <laughs> hey, you! Take your stinking hide back to your master and tell him to tell Prince John that the magpie has found friends. A falcon flies with him now. Go on. <laughs> Come on, give us a chord, minstrel. Tyrant cower in your tower, for right is might and truth is power. Each arm is strong with the strength of ten when we sing the song of old men. Justice the corn shield, lastly we sing. Truth the heart will never yield, while Richard is a The mark of Ross Common, sir. Your Highness. Oh, come, come. Well, what news? Has this Dick O'Devon been disposed of? I fear I bring unfortunate tidings, sire. Your craven soldiers let a minstrel beat them. It was not only a minstrel, sire, it was also a knight. What knight would dare? He sent you this message, sire. The falcon flies with the singing magpie. Ivanhoe, with this Dick O'Devon, there's a meeting of devils. All our efforts to convince the people that Richard is dead will go for nothing. They're already singing Richard's songs in the taverns. It will bring him back to life for everyone. Unless we can stop it spreading, sire, it could endanger your coronation. It must be stopped. You understand me, Mark? It must be stopped. We'll silence this magpie and clip the falcon's wings. You have my vow, sire. Come on, come all, to the manor hall. Tonight's a lucky night, my lads, for Dick O'Devon's crusading circus will be in the courtyard of the manor hall this evening. And there you'll meet Gypsy Gun, magician, juggler, and acrobat without peer. <laughs> and on my left, the Falcon, triple champion of the crusade. <laughs> and all those of you who wish to test your strength and skill with broadsword, quarterstaff, or bare hands, Including you, lady, are all welcome! The Falcon will take on all comers! And uh, if you promise not to tell your fathers and mothers, here's a secret. There'll be a puppet play. So don't forget! Tell all your friends tonight in the courtyard, this very evening! <laughs> Stout Heart the Lion is still king of the Glen. Gah. Gah. Huh? Some strange faces in the courtyard. You're right. You're right. They look as if they're salted all around the place. Well, my guess is there's a marksman. Better warn Dick or Devon. Excuse me, I want it back on the stage. Oh, I'll 
crown you, Prince Blackheart the Fox. <laughs> Thanks to your loyalty, Trueheart the Ox, I am still king of the Glen. <laughs> Stout heart the lion and true heart the ox. Cabby false heart the jackal and black heart the fox. Get him to stop. But I can't, he won't listen. If summer's cold and winter's hot, if melons mold and apples rot, if princes say what is, is not, why should I care? I'm a fool. If children starve and yeomen toil, if loyal minstrels boil in oil, while thieving barons steal our soil, why should I care? I'm a fool. <laughs> if good King Richard all alone in prison lies on a bed of stone, while villains lie to steal his throne. Treason! Dickens, Evan, I arrest you in the name of Prince John. In the name of King Richard, let's throw out these tyrants. Ah. Get the women and children undercover. Come on, everybody. Come on. Over the stables. Come on. the falcon and the magpie. I'll count to ten. If by then the traitors are not given up, those who are listening to them will also suffer. My bowmen will open fire. Get away from me, Gerth. Keep hidden. We're going to need you. Get together as many yeomen as you can. Make sure we get a fair trial. One, two, three, four. You sure Sir Mark will give us a fair trial? We'll have to find a way to make sure that he does. Six, We've no other choice but to surrender. Seven, Are you with me? I'm ahead of you. Eight, I'm composing the ballad for our hanging. Nine. We surrender. All we ask is a fair trial. Sir Ivanhoe of Rotherwood and the minstrel known as Dicker Devon, you have conspired to defy the authority of Prince John. I arrest you for high treason. Fair trial with some mark? Well, I shall need all the yeomen I can find. Ah, Sir Mark. Well, my soothsayer tells me the Lenten equinox favors my coronation. You may make your plans with confidence, Your Highness. Ivanhoe and Dicker Devon lie in my dungeons. Good. They must be brought to trial. I'll write to your castle and I'll judge it myself. accused of conspiring with the minstrel Dick of Devon to spread foul treason against our throne. 
My lord, we ask only fair trial by the law of the realm. Read the indictment. Instructed by my lord, Sir Mark, I conceal myself in the crowd attending Dick of Devon's performance, Your Highness. Their intention was plainly to inflame treason. The man, Dick of Devon, was singing a scurrilous song. It began, uh... Oh, let me refresh your memory. If good King Richard all alone in prison lies on a bed of stone, while villains lie to steal his throne, why should I care? I'm a fool. <clears throat> a fool indeed. In addition to treason, the fact is that Richard is dead. Would our prince be preparing for the coronation if there were the slightest doubt? Do you take your oath on that, sir? That Richard is dead? Yes. Yes, sir, I give my oath that Richard is dead. Then I say you lie, sir. I say that Richard lives. I challenge you. Let divine justice speak and decide who tells the truth. In mortal combat. I will meet you, sir. Carefully. If Ivanhoe should win, so will his cause. They'll believe Richard lives. He'll not win. I have the choice of weapons, and I am the champion with the mace in England. In the meantime, I have no will rot in my dungeon. So be it. Let the holy sanction of our claim be proven. The champion of truth will meet Sir Ivanhoe of Rotherwood in mortal combat. One fortnight hence, in accordance with the law of our realm. Till then, the prisoners are remanded in the custody of this castle. Why not fight now? He'll have you at his message of the day of combat. But he'll have to meet me. Don't worry, I'll survive till then. Where are they taking him? Oh, there's a nice little cell down below, beneath the moat. There's no light to hurt your eyes. There's no air to call you. You can't stand up and you can't lie down. But it's cosy. <laughs> the black hole, my lord. Reserved for important prisoners of state. These spikes are to keep you from dozing. No one is to open this door unless I'm present. Prince John sends his greetings and proclaims that Sir Ivanhoe and my lord will meet a fortnight from today to settle this trial by combat as provided by the law. How will they fight? Mace and shield with a dagger to finish it. Where is Sir Ivanhoe? By royal order, it is to remain in protective custody until the day of combat. Yes. Is the place before his highness. But, my lord, you commanded me to, to show you the food that we were sending to Sir Ivanhoe. Very well. The cook has succeeded admirably. Now get it out of here. Uh, Your highness, my lord, Sir Ivanhoe's squire awaits at the gate. He's brought the knight's armor and weapons. Very well. Instruct him to leave them and be gone. Nobody lays a finger on my knight's armor except me. I'll take it in. Where's the armory? In here. sent me to tell the knight that his arms for the combat have been delivered. You know where the black hole is. All right. Open up. The constable sent me. If the constable sent you, you must know we can't open up unless he's here. You're just in time to see your knight fed.
He's hearty, my lord. A knight needs his strength for a trial of combat to the death. Good. What are you? Everything's arriving home. Yes. I wish I hadn't. Fortnight in that black hole. And he won't be able to even lift his hand, much less wield a mace. Here's to the defense of truth, Sir Mark, and a quick coronation. I hear your opponent has refused food and sleep this fortnight past. Oh, stubborn fellow. Squire, come and get your knight ready for combat. Sir, I'm now. Oh, the light is blinding. Let the two knights stand forth and do combat unto death in accordance with the law and custom of our realm. The truth shall prevail. Won't you at least wear a breastplate? I couldn't carry on again. Then, sir, you must dodge and, and weave about as much as you can. God be with you. Here. This plaything yours? much longer to use it by the sound of it. If he dies, the truth dies with him. Mark. King Richard lives! Your Highness, the truth is won. The law demands that you set us free. Let it be so. And that you let our magpie sing that truth without hindrance. It is so ordained.
Bold and brave and gay, in justice he is fighting to win a better day. 